To find all listening ports using PowerShell, start with the get net tcp connection commandlet, and because we're only looking for listening ports, we'll specify the state as listen. When we run this as is, we get a list of all listening ports, including the local address, local port, and remote address, and we also see the owning process ID. However, this is being displayed as a table, and the output is too wide for my monitor. So let's just have a look at the output for one port, and we'll identify what we actually want to see. So looking at this output, it'll be useful to know the local address, local port, the same for the remote end. All of our output's going to be for listen, so we don't care about the state. We do want to know the owning process, and we do want to know the creation time. So let's go ahead and select just what we're looking for. If we go ahead and run this again now, we can see the output for each of our listening ports. However, the owning process isn't too helpful for us at the moment, as we don't necessarily know what these IDs correlate to. So we can make our output a little bit nicer by using a calculated property and replacing owning process with the actual process name. And we do this by using the ID from owning process, passing that in as the ID to get process, and then only selecting the name and we'll wrap that into a new property that we'll call process. So let's run this again. And now our output includes the ports with local and remote addresses. But now instead of the process ID, we see the actual process claiming that port. So for example, port 443 is being claimed by a VMware process. Now we probably want to see this as a table, similar to how the default output is displayed. So let's pipe our results to format table with auto size so that it displays correctly on my monitor. So now we can see all of the listening ports on my machine, including the relevant addresses and remote ports, and which process by name has claimed those ports. Thank you for watching.